A family holiday can be great fun, especially when the pets are invited too. But careful preparation is important to make sure everyone has a happy and healthy time. One of the biggest mistakes that pet owners make is not checking if their holiday destination is a paralysis tick area. This often happens when people live in an area that is paralysis tick free and they travel to a coastal destination for their holiday. I recommend that you phone the local veterinarian at the area that you are going to be visiting and ask them if paralysis ticks are a problem in that area. If so, you need to start a tick paralysis prevention program at least two weeks prior to departing for your holiday. Your veterinarian can work with you on the best program and type of product to use. You should discuss the kind of activities that your pet will be involved with as this will help you formulate the best plan for your circumstances. When you're away, make sure you do daily tick checks of your dog. And by daily, I mean checking your dog once over from head to tail, feeling all the way over for little tiny bumps that could in fact be paralysis ticks. Start at the head, at the ears, looking in the ears, around the eyes, the mouth, around the head, as, as ticks often attach to the head area, but also feel your dog all the way over, paying attention to the toes and feet, the tail and under the tail, really important. Nothing ruins your holiday quicker than a sick member of the family, or worse still, having to leave your holiday early. Make sure your pet's vaccinations and worming are up to date, and always assume the area you're visiting may harbour fleas. Fleas are a big problem throughout Australia, and just because you have fleas under control in your own home, doesn't mean that they won't be in your new environment. Speak to your veterinarian about the best preventative to use for your pet and your circumstance and make sure you pack some clean bedding for your dog or cat so that you know your pet is sleeping on a flea free bed. Pets often run away when they're taken to a new environment so please be careful. Make sure all microchip details are up to date and that all pets are wearing an ID tag with a current phone number on it that is going to work at your holiday destination. When you arrive at a destination, make sure you can find all pets indoors and with dogs, make sure you keep them on leash whenever you're outside a secure property. A note about cats, not a lot of cats really enjoy travel and holidays. They find it quite stressful when they're taken out of their home environment. But some cats don't seem to be bothered by noise and travel and they're the only ones that I would attempt to take on holidays. Even then, make sure you keep them confined. Don't let them outside unless perhaps you, you've got a cat that's very comfortable being on a lead. When you travel, make sure you pack your pet's regular food. Don't assume that you will have access to your normal food in the destination that you're staying and a sudden change of diet can cause tummy upsets and, and no one wants those when they're on holidays. Finally, don't attempt to travel with your dog if he or she is not well socialised and has basic obedience training. The last thing you want is worrying about your dog barking or upsetting the neighbours or worse still destroying any of the property or furniture at the place that you are staying. I hope you found these travel tips useful. They were kindly brought to us today by Scalable, Paralysis Tick Collar for Dogs. And if you want to catch all of my pet training and animal health tips, please make sure you subscribe to my channel.